What's up guys, Freddy Fishfinger here, and I'm bringing you more VGC stuff. I, I want to do a little bit more than I did last time for recording. Last time I had a session, I recorded three battles, and then I said, okay, I'll do maybe more later, but then I didn't get around to it, and then the next season started up, now I'm doing like, you know, a little bit more. So, fingers crossed I actually get more done this time, even though this time I'm more busy than last time, so go figure. I always find it interesting, on a side note, Completely unrelated when people bring a Lowland Raichu without bringing a Tapu Koko, whether they do it like as a countermeasure, I, I don't know. Um, I get weather control, that's nice. Uh, Cloyster, haven't seen one of those. I've seen that somebody did use a gol Golisopod, but I haven't seen it used specifically. Don't know what's up with that. Uh, I can bring Arcanine, Arcanine's cool, Arcanine works for me. I can, it does work for me. Um, and I can bring... I want. I definitely want to bring Gastrodon in some way, shape, or form. Some way, shape, or form. Uh, I don't feel like everything works for me this battle. It doesn't. Uh, Nilhanego, Nilhanego. It does actually work pretty well, though. Uh, to an extent. I don't know, maybe a lead Gigalith. Maybe I'll just lead Gigalith, and then I'll go Gastro in the back, and then probably Kartana does better than... Um... I mean, I could still bring Stoutland. Yeah, I'll bring Stoutland. Stoutland gets the uh, sand, so I'm not bringing... Oh, i got to confirm. Whoops. Um, I got to... Um... I won't be bringing either one of my beasts this time. Six, 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 six. What? <laughs> what? Isn't there something about sixes and summoning the devil or something? Wow. I don't know. Maybe, maybe maybe I'm getting my numbers mixed up. I don't really know. But it's okay. We'll get through. Hopefully. I don't know. Like, right now, I was kind of stumbling my way through everything. Now, this is good. I expected a lead from the Raichu. That didn't happen. Maybe it didn't bring Raichu. It is possible. Uh, kind of expecting a protect from the Skarmory, because that would make a lot of sense. But at the same time, I can really... Oh, yeah, he has first impression with Glissapod as well, doesn't he? Yeah. I don't know. I did get Intimidate off, so I'm not, like, overly concerned. I want to just go Will-O-Wisp, and then... At the same time, Rock Slide will be really good. So I'm just going to do both of those. Rock Slide will break a potential Sash. No, Skarmory won't have Sash. First impression, there we go. On Gigalith, that's better for me. Now I burn. I don't burn crap! I don't burn anything! Oh, first impression doesn't flinch. Why did I think it did? Why did I think that it did? I don't know. But at the same time, what I can do here... Expect a water type move with the Galissapod. Um, it hasn't swapped out yet, which is great. Um, and I can go Flamethrower on the Skarmory. Skarmory will probably uh, go down. Uh, bring in the Gastrodon and absorb the water type move. Uh, really sucks that I didn't burn that thing, but maybe he would have swapped out if I burnt it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just get by. There we go. Aqua Jet. Yes! Yay! Right, and flamethrower on the Skarmory. Um, Skarmory, like, is going to stealing again? I don't know. It doesn't matter, because it's gone! Alright. And then, uh, this will potentially swap out. Yep, there we go. Which is cool. Uh, he can bring it back in, if he chooses to get another first impression. That's fine. That's... I don't have the Intimidate on it this time. And that's always nicer. So you put two water types and I've got a Gastrodon. on. Ha! He's intimidated my Arcanine. I'm not running physical Arcanine, so I don't care. Um, you know what? Because Gastrodon's... Uh, oh my god, I'm getting my things mixed up again. Because Gyarados is a problem. There we go, got it. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp the Gyarados this time. Cool. Um... And then, as for what Gastron's going to do, I have got the investment to outspeed Gyarados. He, unless he's Scarf, but Scarf Intimidate Gyarados would be a bit weird. Okay, let's see. What do we do with Gastron? What do we do with Gastro? I, 
quit toxic or scold the glissopod. I could. I think I'll just scold it, because it's at that point where it's like, obviously we know it's half health, or like below half, because he swapped out, right? So, yeah, and I don't flinch with the first impression. First impression is not very effective, even though he got a crit. Wow. This time I hit the Will-O-Wisp. Great. I also hit it on Gyarados, which is a problem, so now it's a little bit neutralized. So this is good stuff. This is going well. Earthquake. Yeah, I'm not overly concerned because he is burnt. Let's see. Arcanine still takes a lot of damage from that. Holy crap. Um, if you guys are wondering how Arcanine hasn't taken any damage from the sand, it's because I am running a the safety goggles. Um, I figured with my team, having Arcanine's Intimidate is really helpful, but um, rather than trying to uh, counter the chip of the sand with Leftovers or with a Citrus Berry, Safety Goggles would be better because it also means that I won't get Sleep Powdered, and it's a pretty big target when it comes to Sleep Powder from uh, Lilligant in the Sun. Which makes total sense. Uh, more an observation thing, I guess. So, yeah. But look, now I get chip damage on the Gyarados. Golisopod will go down. He could swap it out. Whatever, I'll get damage. You can't Aqua Jet, bro. I've got the Gastrodon still out. <laughs> Some people. <laughs> you know what? I really, really hope that he waterfalled. Because that would be really funny. Nah, Earthquake makes more sense. It'd be really nice if Arcanine doesn't go down. Oh, it doesn't. Sweet. And now I get a plus two Scald off, so that kind of takes away the resistance that Gyarados have, has with being a water type to the move. So it shows you the Gastron is particularly bulky rather than particularly offensive. Yeah. But that's okay. I'm not running Gastrodon for its offense. That'd be crazy. Uh, if you really wanted to, I'm sure you could make it work. But... Okay, Cloister. Here we go. Now, anybody who's anybody knows that Cloister screams Shell Smash. And the problem that I have is that I... Actually, you know what? can just flame through a scald it, can't I? Because Gastrodon still has pretty good HP. If he goes for a freeze dry on Gastrodon, then I get to go with a flamethrower on the Cloister. He uses his turn to go Ice Shard, that's cool. Um, he can't really afford to use Earthquake without taking some damage off on the Cloister. Crunch, that'll do more than the Earthquake, so I guess he was really trying to get rid of the Arcanine. That's cool. Cloister's special defense is not great, so that makes sense. The burn kind of sucks for him, but at the same time, he wasn't going to be doing a hell of a lot more than uh, what he already did. And now I just bring Gigalith back in. So, this is the first time we've got Gastron to put in solid work for this team. I knew it had happened, it's just a matter of time, really. It's, it's more like, if your opponent has a lot of water types. I noticed he did. I brought Gastrodon. Gastrodon did work. In fact, you know what? I'm not sure my opponent was the... Actually, we kind of know my opponent's not the best player because he kept Aqua Jetting. Um, he had the one turn where he Aqua Jetted into Gastrodon and he had the choice of which Pokemon to bring and he brought three water types instead of bringing Muck, which would have been a lot better for him. But his choice. His choice. And at this, at this point, Rock Slide with Gigalith, and then it, it's completely dependent on what my uh, opponent decides to do here. Earthquake won't kill anybody. Almost killed the Cloister. Wow. Icicle Spear. Good call. That won't kill. Might flinch. King's Rock Cloister, maybe. Could be. That's possible. He'd be skill link, yeah. Skill link, yeah. That's cool. Because I get to go Skull and Gyarados. If it doesn't kill, doesn't matter. 
Because amongst the rock slide, the burn, and the sand, everything's going down. So I'm not concerned. Rock slide hits both. Both go down. W for me. Fantastic. All right. Who's ready for battle number dos? Battle number duo. Battle number duo. Battle number two. How many more languages can I say two in? I don't know. You know what? This time we're going to feel like we're defending our title. <laughs> because, yeah. I mean, we've lost one battle. This guy, this guy, it was 1664. It's alright. It's, it's okay. What have we got? Ooh, we have Incineroar. I've only battled one guy who's used an Incineroar. And... He used Incineroar, Primarina, and Decidueye, so... I mean, maybe... Maybe it was a challenge, maybe he... Maybe he had a thought, but I just beat it. But it just didn't seem great. I, I know some people have said it's actually not that bad, but... You know, I don't see it myself. I, I just don't. Um, now, this is interesting. I mean, I can control the weather on turn one. I know I can. But do I want to? Gastrodon does nothing. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to lead um, Gigalith and Stoutland. That'll be fine. I don't have a problem doing that. Arcanine uh, will be pretty useful, so I will bring him along. Gastrodon we know doesn't do anything. Uh, Nilhanego or Katana? Katana does more. Yeah, Kartana definitely does more. So I'm going to just bring the team like that. Um, the way I've got my team running at the moment is going to be like, I overwhelm him with sand initially and then bring in cleaners. That's how I'm operating at the moment with the way I've selected my team. I'm not sure whether it'll be great because it kind of depends on who he leads with as to how we go. But... Fingers crossed, he leads well to the point where we can capitalize. Incineroar and Carpana. Uh. Okay. Um, I think Shiny Incineroar looks kind of stupid. Just me, but the white? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't have a good matchup against the Carpana. I know I don't, but at the same time, I know I can bring out Arcanine, so I'll definitely bring out Arcanine, and against the Incineroar, kind of tempted, to be honest, turn one, to just protect. But I won't outspeed Kartan on the second turn. You know, bugger it. I'm going to go return on the Incineroar, see what happens. If he protects Incineroar and goes for a Sacred Sword with a Kartana, I get really, really screwed over, and that'll make me really, really sad. But I can hope, damn it, I can hope that doesn't happen. Probably not the smartest thing in VGC to be hoping, but with any luck, Incineroar gets Fake Out. Didn't know that. Um, that turn, I mean, doesn't go great. I'm not... Did get a crit with the... Did get a crit though. All right, um, I'm gonna go flamethrower with Stoutland. Uh, sorry, not Stoutland. Oh my god, with Arcanine into the Kartana. That just works. Uh, dude, I, I still have my own Kartana, so that's fine. Um, and then I go return on the Incineroar. If he brings out anything else, he doesn't have much, which I'm afraid. Okay, so he withdraws Kartana. You get a flanker off on the following turn. Cause... Look, in fairness, he's playing well. I'll, I gotta, I gotta credit him on that. He is playing well. Um, he does receive some damage with flamethrower. Uh, not a lot. Um, the burn doesn't matter here. I'm gonna go ice fang on the garchomp. He won't expect that. I am calling that he does not expect that. Uh, Arcanine doesn't then do a lot to Incineroar, and he's much more likely to hit my Stoutland than, um, I don't want to bring in Kartana just yet. I don't, and I, like, going out to Gigleth again doesn't really do much. You know what? 
for what it's worth, um, in case stupid things happen, I'm going to flamethrower on the Garchomp as well. But I'm just going to go Ice Fang, Ice Fang, or Kill Gar... Oh my freaking god! This is ridiculous! This is honestly the most crazy stuff ever. Good thing is I didn't go down. I would have been absolutely livid if that would have happened. Okay, so who has he got? We know he's got Kartana. He's not bringing Kartana in again. He's not. I still want to do um, the same thing, but at the same time, Incineroar's really starting to give me the shits. <laughs> It really is. You know, I'm just going to Ice Fang and Flamethrower. That way, if he brings in Kartana, doesn't matter, because I screw over his Garchomp or his Kartana. Um, if he brings in his fourth thing, at least we know what we're playing around. He brings in Ninetales. So that's good. So we get a super effective Flamethrower on the Ninetales. He's got shiny Ninetales as well. Okay. I didn't see whether the Garchomp was shiny, but whatever. He's controlling the weather right now. I don't expect um, Stoutland to live past this turn, given the fact that Life Orb's been taking away a lot from him. Yeah. Let's go. Nine Tails goes down. So at least we got something, damn it. Okay, Stoutland goes down. Kind of saw that coming. Um, his Incineroar has probably taken, it's taken less than uh, I would have thought. Um, I still don't take any damage because of safety goggles. <laughs> okay, um, Kartana. No, it's not. I want to say Kartana's good, but it's not. Gigalith is good. Gigalith is good. <laughs> okay, good. So he does go Garchomp. That helps me out more. Um, than him going Kartana. I was a little bit afraid of that. Uh, the thing is here, though, the thing is here, he'll want to probably Earthquake and then protect the Incineroar. Um, I'm guessing... I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing. Uh, you know what? Probably just going to protect with Arcanine, and then I kind of want to just... I could respond with an Earthquake. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to do that. If he has a Z-Crystal on that Garchomp, then uh, we get problems. But hopefully things work out. Uh, okay. My opponent's played really well in amongst all these Protects. <laughs> Give me the shits. That's why Protect is so good, because you feel so crippled by what you're doing, because... A lot of your moves are just negated completely. So that that is the purpose of it. Um, I thought for a second that might be a crit on Gigalith, only because I know it's stab, so it's going to do a lot, but it just felt like more than it should be. And I know it's not Choice Banded, and I know it's not Life Orb, so what could it be? I don't really know. He's got a citrus berry on that thing. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, there is a chance Arcanine lives, in which case I'm going to go Willow Wisp on the Garchomp. And then Rock Slide's not a bad play. He's less likely to go for an Earthquake, given the fact he can't protect his Incineroar. Yeah, exactly. Um, he does bring out Kartana, which means that if he goes Earthquake, he does get chip damage off on it, which is not great for him. Just putting it out there. Are we serious? I wouldn't have thought they would have both died. I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, let's think. It's 189 to 91. So that means it went down... 89... is 100, and then an extra 9. 
So that's 98. That's a probably a damage roll. Probably. It, probably in his favor, though. Still a bit annoying. So the way to win this battle. <laughs> the way to win this battle is not get protected against. Um, honestly, isn't. And I have to kill with every single move. Um, you know what? Leaf Blade on the Garchomp against the Kartana Protect. Um, he outspeeds. That doesn't really matter. I can live that. Yep. And now there's no way to win because Fake Out will kill me. The way for me to win that was for him to protect on his Kartana. And then on the following turn, go for a Sacred Sword against... No, on the following turn, go for a Protect. Then on the turn after that, go for a Sacred Sword against the Incineroar. You know what? I'm going to be that guy. Go for Protect. Because there is still a chance that he loses this. He'd have to be really stupid. <laughs> but there is a chance. Because he's definitely going to go fake out. Um, yeah. I'll say he could be Choice Scarf. I feel like he wouldn't be. He could be. That Incineroar did so much more than I thought it would. So much more. Yeah. But yeah, this is why Protect is so good. Because it's just devastating to your opponents. <laughs> Fair play. Fair play. Um, if my... Actually, you know what? That was really stupid when you think about it. Because if I made the call for his Incineroar to Protect... And I outsped with my Kartana, went for the Sacred Sword on his Kartana. Then I end up winning. So that was really, really stupid. Unless he happened to be Rocky Helmet Kartana. But let's be real. Yeah, um, that was really, really dumb. Uh, he won both speed ties. Again, assuming he's not Choice Scarf, he won both speed ties. Um, so if you want to count that as luck, you want to count that as luck, that's fine. Uh... Only the second one... If I'd played correctly, the second one mattered. I didn't play correctly because it's a matter of which one does he protect, you know what I mean? If he protects. Really, the the good thing for him to do would be to go, okay, he outspeeds one of my mons, that's fine. I allow one of my mons to go down and the other one will just kill him. That's what you should do in those situations. Um, he ended up getting around me because of all the bloody protect plays. So, I guess I'll try to do better at that next time. Um, leave likes if you did enjoy. At least the first battle was good. And Freddy Fishfinger, out.